All right, what is up everybody? Today I'm very excited to be bringing you guys a video on the brand new Street Workout fandom page, which is in my opinion the number one resource for all things street workout and calisthenics related. So this page was actually put together by some guys in the Street Workout Hub Discord and when I found out about it, it was just something I had to promote because I love fandom and honestly, I think that upon completion of this fandom, it will be huge for growing the street workout community. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got in this page. And that, wait, actually before we get into it, as you guys can see, it says right here, we're a collaborative community website about street workout that any Anyone, including you can build and expand so if you have anything you feel like you want to add to this page don't hesitate to do so it would be greatly appreciated by myself and the people that are in charge of all of this okay so once again let's take a look at all the pages that we have here on the fandom we have quite a few uh, we have skills Grips and variations, miscellaneous athletes, events slash competitions, teams and training methods. So let's go ahead and hop over to the skills page. Let that load up. Quite a few ads on fandom, but that's for any fandom, not just this one. Anyway, as you guys can see, there are a ton of different skills on here. There's basically any skill that you can think of is going to be on the fandom page. So let's go ahead and let's just look at the front lever page because that's something that everybody knows. So it's going to give you a nice description of the movement here, talking about some of the muscles involved and everything like that. One thing that I really like about this page is that they have the origin and they also have the history of the skill. So you, that's not information you really need to learn it or get better at it. But for someone like me, this is just knowledge that I, I like to have, quite honestly. <laughs> you know, why not? Can't hurt to know more. <clears throat> uh, but it does show... Uh, the movement execution, like talking about the scapula position and everything like that. And I love the professionalism of this page. As you can see, there's this picture of Lee Van right here. And they say, like, who took the picture, where they got it. I, I just love that about this. And then they have prerequisites so you can see what's required to unlock the skill. Now, the reason why this is great is just maybe you don't have the time to watch a tutorial on YouTube so you can just pull this up really quick and kind of get an idea of how to execute the move. So uh, that is the skills page. We're not going to go through all of these, but you guys kind of get the picture uh, with this. So let's go back to the home page and we will now take a look at grips and variations. So yeah, again, this is a little less complete than some of the other, but yeah, give them time guys. This is actually a brand new project and the fact that they have come so far in a short time really makes me happy. And I just know that over time, it's going to be a really nice page. So, uh, so yeah, we have all, all the grips here. Some of these grips, I don't even know what the heck they are, to be quite honest. Like what the heck is Omni Grip? Let's, let's learn about Omni Grip because I have no idea what that is. The Omni Grip, also called Fake Grip or Abused False Grip, is a variation of the False Grip in which more of the forearm rests on the bar or ring. Okay, that's interesting. I just didn't know what that was called. And this is funny too for the history section. On April 27th, 2020, Matteo Spinsonola performs the Omni King Pool using a new group, which he calls the Omni. Okay, so I guess this guy called, I guess he created the grip because he cheats it so much. But yeah, it's basically when you are holding a false grip basically right here instead of like on your wrist. So very cool, I did not know that. Controversy, yeah, of course, because this is technically, you could argue that doing skills with this grip is basically cheating, right? So really cool, I didn't know about that. So even I'm learning on the wiki, which is amazing. So let's see what else we have in miscellaneous, okay. <laughs> So we have bad form training, and then we have a page on the greatest of all time right here, G. Uh, we'll look at bad form and training. Okay, so this basically tells you how bad form can be good in some cases. This is actually something I've been considering making a video. So maybe I'll go ahead and make a video on this using some information from this page. So uh, yeah, as you guys can see, bad form does have its uses in training, and this page explains that pretty well. So... Let's hop back to the home page and now we'll click on athletes. All right, so yeah, we've got quite a few different athletes here. Not too many athlete pages have been added, but once again, I love the professionalism because they have all the athletes with their full names, except for Alpha. Anyway, you have the names of the athletes and as you guys can see, they do have an Elias. 
They have a page on Mr. Page. <laughs> this is great. He owns three beautiful bearded dragons, which are believed to be the source of his power. <laughs> Blaze, Kiwi, and Mango. <laughs> Formerly known as Charmander. So yeah, he originally had the lizard that he named Charmander, but then he switches to Mango because I think he found out it was a girl or something. I don't know why he changed his name, but he did. Uh, so yes, and then we have notable achievements, some of his skills that he did first, uh, and then some just weird pictures of this guy. So <laughs> athletes, very cool. We have teams as well, uh, teams, teams in companies actually. So we have artsy work. I think that's Seolus' team, Burning Gate, and then we have of course Calisthenics Pro, the greatest freaking calisthenics company link down below you can use code barkage 10 to get yourself some awesome wrist wraps and elbow sleeves the ones that i myself use in my training to perform insane feats of strength uh and then yeah we have our team the kage team which is a new team that me and elias made uh kangaroo pro leukosthetics which is a uh, french team actually i think remo's on there and then noah who is a freaking lord of maltese neo strength of course outsiders sesh and yeah, we got all the teams there. And last but not least, we have the training method section, which I think is going to be very useful for some of you guys. So they have like a band section, how to train with bands and stuff like that. Grease the groove, uh, which they of course haven't added to yet. But honestly, like it's stuff like this, which is why I think this page is going to be so great and helpful for so many different people. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, just a fun little informal video that I wanted to make promoting the Street Workout fandom page, which is something that I am behind 100%. Um, so yeah, comment below what you guys think of this, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.